Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be going over the um, SAT, the official College Board Study Guide um, SAT Practice Test 1 Writing Section, question number um, 19. So um, remember, if you've been following along with my videos, you know that the first thing that you want to do on the writing section is ask yourself, what am I being tested on? Um, and if you look at my general video on the writing section, I talk about like the seven things I think of being tested on on this test. So, in, for example, on number 19, this question, um, I can see that I've got it's there and there, different words. Um, so I'm probably being tested on the proper use of vocabulary, okay, the proper use of the vocabulary. And I want to make sure it's effective, it's got effective language use. But I also want to make sure that um, when I'm doing that, that I'm looking at, because I see it's and there and there, I'm also talking about um, pronoun and verb agreement and plural um, plural nouns. Um, so let's look at what we've got here. We've got scientists have, love, have long known that soot particles facilitate melting by darkening snow and ice, limiting its ability to reflect the sun's rays. Okay. So it's is referring to something, and we need to figure out what the subject is, okay? Because it's and it's and there and there are either re referring to singular or plural. So we need to find the subject of limiting what's ability to reflect the sun's rays, okay? All right, so scientists have long known that soot particles facilitate by darkening snow and ice, okay? Limiting the snow and ice ability to reflect the sun's rays. The snow and the ice are what reflects the sun rays. So this is a plural noun. These are This is plural, snow and ice. So that means that this needs to be, um, uh, it needs to be plural and it's is singular. So it's not no change and it's not be, okay? Now we've got the, the this is where the um, proper use of vocab comes in because we need the possessive form of there, which would not be T-H-E-R-E, -E, it would be T-H-E-I-R. So my answer would be D. Again, go through, figure out what you're being tested on, kind of walk yourself through that idea. If it's based on plural and singular, find the subject and determine if the subject is singular or plural and just be consistent with your, um, with your, um, with your verbs. Okay. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Have a great day.